Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, so, um, today I'm going to be reviewing a Non-Negative by Cold Rain. Um, so, this album is really good in my opinion. I happen to particularly like Cold Rain's sound, even if it is samey across a lot of their albums. Um, I found Cold Rain through, um, uh, Oh, I can't remember the name. I think the album was called Coexist, but I might just be thinking of one of the songs. I don't know. But I found them through their 2019 album, and I listened to the one before that. I thought that one was really good. Um, and I just recently listened to their most uh, recent album, Non Negative. And I think it's really good. It's not perfect all the way around. It has rough edges, uh, but we'll get into that. So first off, I want to talk about the things that I really like. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's it's Cold Rain. Uh, if you like Cold Rain, you'll like this album. Um, one thing I will say, uh, I really like their singer's voice. He's got a really nice, powerful voice and has voice, and has a really um, incredible high range. Um, yeah. Uh, instrumentally, I'd say they're like hard rock, maybe more metal in places, especially on what I think what is the heaviest song on the album, Cut Me. That opening one for that song is pretty heavy. Um, yeah, um, this album had like four or five singles, I think. And all the singles are pretty good, I mean, yeah. But yeah, um, very, very good album. Um, I might just be rambling here. Um, I have to, so, um, I mean, I haven't really deep dived into this, but, uh, I've, the, the consensus that I, from my limited view here, I, I didn't really, um, that I get around Cold Rain is, um, for most people, uh, that aren't me, of course, uh, is that they're okay, they're not anything great, and I mean, I understand that, uh, their sound can get pretty samey, and this album does have its, mm, shortcomings, especially in songs like, uh, what was the cover they was, I think it was called Don't Speak, something like that, that song was, uh, not great um um another song that wasn't great in the chorus um i have to say that'd be like oh paradise paradise kill the silence that one wasn't great either um and that's kind of a thing with this album if colder and in my opinion, have always been able to pull off really great choruses, and if they pull off a great chorus that sounds really cool and super unique, um, it, it works. It's so good. But sometimes um, the verses are better than the chorus, because the chorus just kind of sounds like it's there, and it's not really doing much to keep my interest. Um, because... It just sounds like some of the courses just sound very generic. They just sound like, you know, open chord or something. And like, you know, that's most of the what a chorus is. But usually their vocalist is doing something to, you know, spice it up, um, you know, to make it more interesting. And, and some of the courses on here, it just doesn't feel, you know, anything. Like it just feels painfully generic, I guess. Um, Anyways, I will now get into my favorite songs, which I will have clips for. So, let's get into that. All you see is help Me Help You is the song that opens the album and is, obviously, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I really like uh, how the song starts off with the clapping. Uh, kind of build up the sense that's really cool um the verses sound very nice they have a nice groove to them uh you can really hear the bass 
Um, and the chorus just, just explodes, and it's great, it's awesome and amazing. Um, but the chorus is not as great as the next song, which is... It's all out of control! Bloody Power Fame is probably my favorite song on the album, um, other than the next song that we have. Um, and wow. Like, Help Me Help You was good, and it is one of my favorite songs on the album, but compared to Bloody Power Fame, it is just... No. It's, it's good, but it's not this good. I absolutely love how the... You hear the pre-chorus just say the name of the song and then I love how the chorus just explodes into this huge just massive sounding chorus and it just sounds so good and amazing I love the verses um, in the beginning it's got a nice bass groove going on and I love I just love everything about this track it's so good and it's great and it is also the theme song for a TV show that I am currently watching called Bastard Heavy Metal Fantasy. I'm pretty sure. I need to get back to watching that. But anyways, yeah. No, this is a great song. If you take nothing else away from this video, go listen to this song. It is legit really good. Next we have is... Go is another great song. Um, I haven't really been going over the lyrics, and because, well, I mean, the lyrics are just kind of a standard affair. Um, I don't really analyze lyrics that much unless I really feel um, I want to. Um, but uh, yeah, um, this is a great song. It's a bit slower paced than the verses, um, um, but I wouldn't say it's a slow song, not at all. Um, the slowest song on this album is uh, Boys and Girls, I think. I think that's the name of that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this song is great. Uh, once again, an another really catchy and open chorus. It sounds great. Um, I can't really name anything that's wrong with this track. Uh, it's great um, overall, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I... I'm not the best with uploading. Uh, some news is I will be moving the Assassin's Creed playthrough over to my Crimson Plays channel, which is a, my Let's Play channel that has like two videos on it. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to go check that out. Uh, and I'll also upload the other two parts that are on this channel. And put them up on there when I get around to it. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, there will be more to come in the future. If you have any albums you want me to check out, uh, leave it down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.